আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়েলকাম ইউ অল টু आवर টুডেজ অনলাইন ভিডিও ক্লাস আই শরীফুল ইসলাম ক্লাস 4 মাইলস্টোন প্রিপারেটরি কেজি স্কুল সেক্টর 7 উত্তরা ঢাকা डियर স্টুডেন্টস হাউ আর ইউ অল होप অল অফ ইউ আর ফাইন বাই দ্য গ্রেস অফ অলমাইটি আল্লাহ थैंक यू टुडे आवर ক্লাস ইজ ক্লাস ওয়ার্ক নাম্বার 17 Chapter 13 Population and Natural Environment Discussion of Creative Question Answer I will discuss about the creative question answer but before that can you remember what was your previous class tell me what was the previous class I want to take a review of that class yes previous class was also chapter 13 population and natural environment okay so so dear students before discussing the creative question answer i want to discuss the whole chapter first then i will discuss the creative question answer okay, okay. let's take a review of the whole chapter chapter 13 population and natural environment nature and People has closed relation between them. People need natural resource to live. World population is increasing continuously. However, the resource of world is limited. So all of we know our population is increasing day by day and it's increasing rapidly. Okay? It's increasing rapidly. But our limitation, the resource are limited. So do you know how rapidly the population is increasing? Okay, let's take a video. Then we will understand how rapidly the population is growing on. Okay? The world's population has doubled in just four decades. 7.6 billion of us now live on the planet. And it's likely there will be a billion more by 2030. But population growth varies from continent to continent. The fastest population rises are in Africa and Asia, which will have eight of the ten most populous countries by 2050. India is set to overtake China as the country with the largest population. Nigeria has one of the fastest growing populations in the world. It's set to become the world's third most populous country. In many African countries, women have on average five children each. In Niger, it's seven. That's well above the global average of 2.4 children per woman. Populations are also rising because they're aging. Fewer people are dying than are being born. In the last century, life expectancy has almost doubled in some countries. In India, it's almost tripled. Hey students already have understood how rapidly the population is growing in this world okay so you know but our limitations resource are very limitation it is limited resource we have now the next page page number 95 people need food and space to live the more population grows the more food is necessary a growing human population will take up more space to build a shelter if the human population continues to grow, not enough food and space will be available. Already you know, the first picture, there are two pictures. On the left side, the pictures, uh, lots of forest, lots of trees are over there. Three pieces of cultivation land there and three families, houses, shelters are over there. But as the time passed, the uh, family has been uh, increased, the population has been increased. And for the increased population, they need more shelter, more food, more space, more facilities. That's why they have cleared the forest and they build their houses. They have increased their cultivable land. As a result, the forest is decreased. The right side picture, right side photo indicates this situation. So, as the population is growing on, continuously growing on, we need more food, more space, more shelter. This is the relationship between the 
human population and natural resource okay now what are the reasons for being the increasing rapidly the population one reason is there are more great advances in science and technology advances in science and technology can make it possible for people to produce enough food and to develop medical technology to survive diseases and accidents now people can live longer already you know life expectancy it has increased the whole world we have advanced medical equipment we have the medicine we have the uh, technology so that's why the life expectancy is increasing now impact of population growth on natural resource the growth in human population needs more food shelter land energy and other resources so i have told already that if the people increase the increased people need also the facilities they also need shelter food services everything they need they need energy they need resources however the environment has limited natural resource okay to get more natural resource people have destroyed and changed the natural environment around us we can see this situation everywhere for the urbanization the trees are being cut the trees are being cut down the forest are being cleared and then we are building our houses our roads transport facilities everything for example people have cleared forest for land to cultivate crops and for livestock for food and to build shelters and roads okay the loss of forest cause the destruction of habitats of plants and animals as we are clearing the forest the forest habitats it being hampered where the animals plants and animals live in the jungle in the forest they are not getting enough space they are not getting enough environment to live over there as a result plants and animals also being extinct extinct means lost forever it also can cause soil erosion as we are clearing the forest there is no tree if there is no tree on the soil soil cannot contain lots of water and soil erosion occurs so it also causes the soil erosion and for landslide you know what is landslide do you know can you tell me what is landslide yes massive amount of soil when falls from the hills or mountains on the ground then it is called landslide when it happens when on the soil there is no trees then landslide happens easily during the rainy season okay the environmental change can affect the changes in rainfall and temperature so as we are clearing the forest so there are uh, global warming is happening environment temperature is changing suddenly it time it, uh, it may uh, rainfall heavily sometimes it may rainfall heavily sometimes it may not for few years when it may not rain for few years we call it drought when drought occurs we cannot grow crops so environment changes when it heavy rains so everything goes under water that time the ponds the canals rivers everything is full of water excessive water and excessive water can cause the flood look in the picture there is flood and the miserable conditions are over there the houses are gone under water they are living on the roof of the houses they are living on the boats how miserable this condition is 
so some environmental change it changes rainfall it changes temperature and cause different types of natural disasters such as flood drought storm so everything happens so all the main root is population increase why because increased population need more space that's why they are clearing the forest as they are clearing the forest then the animals and uh, plants become extinct they happen natural change landslides drought flood etc so now we will see on picture look this is the uh, railway situation in our country i am uh, giving this uh, picture from our country so there are the rail station rail and uh, the overcrowded look there is inside no space in the train the people goes passenger goes on the roof of the train they have to go what they will do they have to go so look this situation in railway station on the rail on the train everywhere for excessive people populations are over there so students i have discussed the whole chapter thoroughly and uh, you are now very conscious about the overpopulation population and natural environment so now it's time to discuss the creative question of this chapter so let's see what's the creative question are number one question suppose you know the excessive population is a burden to our country in your school every class is full with excessive student now describe the problems that is occurred for the excessive students this is the number one creative questions okay now number 2 what harms are caused to cut down forest due to build extra houses and additional population so this is second number question these two questions we have made in this chapter for you actually creative question means you have to write this question answer by yourself have you understood after that we will help you how to write so let's see number one question how to write so number one question is suppose you know that excessive population is a burden to our country in your school every class is full with excessive student now describe the problems that is occurred for excessive students so you can write by yourself after that i am giving some concept i am giving you some idea that you can write like this way also but as this is creative question i hope you will write by yourself by apply your language apply your idea over here so some points for helping you i am telling answer excessive population is a burden to our country it's true excessive population creates many problems it creates the problems of food shelter health nutrition unemployment treatment communication etc so every sector excessive population creates these types of problems okay if you think sir lots of problems they create yes they create lots of problems increased more population need more food more population need more health so uh, facilities more shelter they need more nutrition they need more employment uh, they need more employment they need they need more communication but we have limitation every sector everywhere so in our school there is excessive students in every class that's why some problems are created over there first of all accommodation problem everyone sits very congestedly you know in a classroom if the seating arrangement is uh, only for the 20 students but if there is more than 20 students so they have to share and they will sit very congestedly they don't get enough space for free moving 
So if they sit very congestedly, they will not get enough chance, enough facility to move freely. They become verbally noisy. So if it is more student rather than its actual uh, condition, then what will happen? They will be verbally noisy. If someone will make uh, some uh, sound, others will pay attention. Oh, what they are telling? What he is telling? Why they are telling this? They will pay attention. The other students noisy sound. There is not enough chance for the teachers to go around to the students. If they sit very congestedly and if the students are too much full in the classroom, then it's very less chance for the teacher to go to the students to see what is happening. Okay? There is very less chance. And students feel less interest to listen to the teacher. This is another reason. Okay? There is no, they feel less interest to teacher's lecture. As a result, teacher wastes more time to control the situations. It's also true. Then teachers need to control the classroom first. So, they waste more time to control the situations. They find themselves spending more time managing their classroom than they do teaching. So, excessive students are really a big issue in a classroom. Have you understood? Again, I am telling, excessive population is a burden to our country. Excessive population creates many problems. It creates the problems of food, shelter, health, nutrition, unemployment, treatment, communication, etc. In our school, there is excessive students in every class. That's why some problems are created over there. First of all, accommodation problem. Everyone sits very congestedly. They don't get enough space for free moving. They become verbally noisy. There is not enough chance there to the, for the teachers to go around to the students. They feel less interest to listen to the lecture. As a result, teachers waste more time to control the situation. They find themselves spending more time managing their classroom than they do teaching. So excessive students are really a big issue in a classroom. So I hope this creative question you have understood very nicely. Again, I'm telling you have to write by yourself on. Apply your idea. You can write more. Now, second number question. What harms are caused to cut down forests due to build extra houses and additional population? Actually, I did not write this answer because this answer you have to write by yourself. But I can give you some concept. Shall I give? Okay, I am giving. So what harms are caused to cut down forest? So if we cut down forest, the first of one thing will be there will be a uh, forest habitat and it will be hampered. Forest habitat will be destroyed. The animals and plants, it will be destroyed. Number two, if we clear the forest, then the balanced of environment, it will be harmful. Ecological balance, it will be harmful. Number three, if we cut down trees, if we clear forest, we know trees gives us oxygen. So we will get less oxygen we will get less oxygen. Then what will happen? If we cut down trees, if we clear forest, then the land will not contain much water. As a result, if rainfall happens, then the soil erosion will be occur, and then there is a chance for flooding. Okay? So like this way, so many points you can write by yourself. I have just given few ideas. So I hope all of you will write 
this creative question answer very nicely so students i am almost the end of the class now let's see what is next next is your sw number 6 so your sw homework number 6 it is learn creative question on and to just now i have discussed that and then write creative question answer number 2 question is just how i have discussed what harms are caused to cut down forest due to build extra houses and additional population so this questions answer you have to write by yourself so dear students thank you for watching this class i am already uh, i am almost the end of the class so thank you once again assalamu alaikum